It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Um, today's video is on Don Knotts and how he got a dose of reality. Uh, after his first Emmy win. This is pretty funny. We've all ridden a little too high on the horse. No matter what our specialty is, the wind feels good. It's tempting to gloat. Maybe we got that raise at work, or maybe we made a purchase that would have seemed out of our range. Regardless of the details, we all know what it's like to feel a little too proud of some accomplishment. Luckily, the real world is always there to remind us of our place in it. At an early apex in his career, Don Knotts had to come to terms with his fame and what the rest of America thought of him. In his 1999 book, Barney Fife and Other Characters I've Known, he discusses his first major award and the reckoning, reckoning that followed. I'd been nominated for an Emmy for Best Supporting Actor. I was stunned. This was something that had never crossed my mind. I was even more stunned when I won. I got an unexpected laugh during my acceptance speech when I said I had nothing to say because I had always been a prepared loser. Perhaps that a self-deprecating nature is what made the win such a high. Knotts wasn't someone who saw the kind of accolade in his future, so when it came, it was a major surprise and one he was almost too proud of. It was a good feeling, and I must confess that for the first time in my career, I felt like strutting a little bit. Don uh, Knotts is nothing if not human. Like all of us, a major accomplishment can bring with it a, a level of braggadocio. Bra I'm sorry. Luckily, though, uh, the universe was there to remind Don Knotts that not everybody watched the Emmys or the Andy Griffith Show, for that matter. The next day, I decided to play golf, and I strutted my way over to the golf club. Why not? My picture was in the paper and everything. I was told there was a guy on the first tee looking for a game. I walked out to the tee and approached the stranger with my hand out. Hi there, I said magnanimously. I'm Don Knotts. Glad to know you, said the man. Bill Smith, I'm in hardware. What's your line of work? Obviously, Smith's failure to recognize him took the wind out of Don Knotts' sails, but it was all for the better. Nobody likes a braggart. I made a note never to strut, wrote Don Knotts. I thought this was funny, um, and I'm hoping it gets a lot of views because this is worth watching, I think. Um, lesson learned. Uh, and everybody does it, you know, when you get something uh, happens to you that's, that's I, don't, I don't even know if it's really bragging or whatever, but uh, something that happens to you and you want to let people know it happened, you know, and and you get a little dose of, you know, people saying, you know, either who cares or who are you or what. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Anyway, classic TV facts, trivia, classic rock and country music facts, trivia, faith and entertainment will be back tomorrow. Uh, uh, classic rural comedies. Uh, facts and trivia is on Raymond Bailey of uh, the Beverly Hillbillies. He played Mr. Drysdale, and how before he played Mr. Drysdale, the banker on the Hillbillies, he was a banker in real life. So you all check that out. Make sure you subscribe if you have not yet. Please like this video. Thank you very much, and please share it out because I really think people get a good get a little laugh out of this, and I'll belly laugh or anything, but a good little chuckle. And it might make someone's day. Uh, you guys have a great day. Uh, like I said, again, a happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Uh, have a great day with your families. God bless. And I'm praying with, for you and with you.